Digital Activism. Jensiat, Iran. Iran is a country known for its strong media restrictions, limited sexual freedoms, and severe internet censorship. One small team of writers and artists are rebelling against it all with a webcomic. Launched in March 2016, Jensiat, meaning sex in Farsi, is an online graphic novel that explores cybersecurity and sexual freedom issues. Telling the story of a young Iranian businesswoman and her adventures with a startup company, the webcomic seeks to make important issues relatable to a mainstream public audience. Alongside eye-catching artwork and entertaining storylines, Jensiat offers trustworthy digital security advice. For example, drawing attention to the many commonly used VPNs that have been compromised by the government. Censored by the Iranian authorities after just a fortnight, Jensiat has, nonetheless, attracted more than a million readers in its first year. The team have both opened up discussion around taboo topics and succeeded in making digital security more appealing to a wider public. The complacency of the world I'm living in makes Gen Z for me very powerful because they cannot be complacent. People have to make choices that I don't. Turkey blocks Turkey. In a country facing an ongoing crackdown on free speech, Turkey Blocks uses a small piece of Raspberry Pi-based hardware to map internet shutdowns in real time. Its inventor, Turkish-British technologist Alp Toker, was himself inspired by a tragic event. Struggling to find information online in the aftermath of a terrorist attack in Ankara in 2015, the extent of the threat posed by government blackouts dawned on Toker. Gathering a small team and investing his savings, Toka used Raspberry Pi technology to develop a tool that could remotely monitor internet interference and power outages in real time. Since placing their probes in secure locations across the country, Turkey Blocks have identified more than 14 digital censorship acts by the government in 2016. With shutdowns clearly coinciding with major offline events and political unrest, Turkey Blocks has become a go-to source for global media. With shutdowns as an instrument of state censorship rising globally, Toka's tool has the potential to illuminate blackouts everywhere. His work is important because it's going to have an impact, not just in Turkey, but across the world, wherever we start to see internet shutdowns. This flag, and Pastor Evan Mawarire, Zimbabwe. For the past 37 years, Robert Mugabe has ruled Zimbabwe with an iron fist, overseeing countless human rights violations. Tired of repression and frustrated with his country's economic deprivation, Pastor Evan Mawarire kicked off Zimbabwe's biggest uprising in recent history in 2016 using a hashtag and a series of YouTube videos. Wearing his Zimbabwean national flag, Mawarire recorded himself encouraging his people to reclaim their pride and stand up against the world's longest serving ruler. For 25 days, the pastor continued to rally supporters to speak out online. So citizens, own this movement. Get your own video, post it, and let the voices grow. Thousands responded using Mamorire's hashtag ThisFlag and uploaded videos of themselves protesting. In July 2016, Mamorire took the fight offline, leading a nationwide boycott. Estimated to have had more than 8 million supporters, Mamorire's campaign was so powerful that the authorities banned street protests and made private possession of the national flag illegal. Mawarire was accused of inciting public violence, arrested three times, received death threats and was personally called out by Mugabe. The pastor now faces trial, but the hashtag continues. A powerful spark of dissent ignited in a place where many thought it previously impossible. This flag has united um, the opposition in Zimbabwe and created a significant movement which has reminded the rest of the world again about just how long this has been going on. Bill Marzak, Global. Bill Marzak is a postdoc in computer science at the University of Berkeley, California, and in his spare time, co-founder of Bahrain Watch. In both endeavors, Marzak investigates technology and its threats and opportunities for frontline activists from across the Gulf region. Through his persistent efforts, Marzak has uncovered numerous digital attacks on dissenting voices. In 2016, the researcher revealed a rare zero-day security vulnerability in the iPhone. Organizations including the UAE government and others appear to be using the weakness to remotely jailbreak iPhone devices and install complex spyware. Previously considered secure, 
the iPhones were being turned into digital spies in their owners' pockets. Marzak's efforts forced Apple to roll out major security updates worldwide. From revealing the use of facial recognition software on peaceful protesters, to highlighting fake Twitter accounts generating thousands of tweets per hour to disrupt online dissent, Bill Marzak has helped keep the struggle for liberty in the region alive. Bill shows the kind of impact that just one individual can have in tackling censorship. His work is truly remarkable. Real changes that are likely to benefit all of us.